protecting Stockton from annexation. Fox 10 News reporter Matt Barentine has that story. Alabama Amendment 3 passed by a large margin. Nearly 70% of voters said yes to something that would have no effect on them when a legislative error put the issue on the statewide ballot. That mistake made a local issue for a few hundred folks in Stockton a state issue and created a big challenge for supporters. We got in the car, drove a thousand miles all over Alabama, talked to every person we could run into. Georgine Connor says they had to get the word out, Everybody explaining that Amendment 3 okay. gives the community of Stockton the right to vote on annexation. It was a simple message, but one that had to be taken across the state. Just with a, a few thousand dollars, we had to publicize this, and it was truly just people doing what they could, and, and it, it is rewarding to see it, it came our way. We were not sure what was going to happen since we had to go statewide. Ben Bailey also took to the road shooting the breeze with everyone he came across. We stopped every store, every restaurant, any where we could see people, we'd stop and, and meet them and talk to them. You don't have to go far in this community to find a historic marker like the one here at this home or just across the street here behind me at the Presbyterian Church. That's why they're trying so hard to preserve this community. Now as the first landmark district in Alabama, there could be no annexation without representation. A big victory for this small community. In Stockton, Matt Barentine, Fox 10 News. Back in the 19th century, Stockton was where the stagecoach line stopped and travelers boarded boats for Mobile.